Good afternoon, everyone. Joe Spock from NDB Aviation. Today I'd like to show you how to set up the SciTech ProFlight TPM module. We're using Microsoft FSX Steam Edition today, and we'd like to go over to Settings to get this started. So we have FSX started. It's running. Go to Settings. Once you're inside Settings, let's go over to Controls. And you have multiple areas here, Calibration, Button Keys, Control Axes. So let's start in Control Axes. Come to the Controller Type. Left-click inside that, and it'll bring you your drop-down menu. Let us select the SciTech ProFlight TPM system. When we have that selected, we're going to want to go over here and make sure you left-click on the scroll and then drag it down. As you can see, I've already set this version of FSX up with the TPM, but let's go ahead and do that again. Let's go to Throttle Axes. Double click, and what I want you to do is physically pull the throttle act, throttle lever in and out all the way, all the way out, all the way in. Click OK. We'll repeat with the prop axis. That's your blue lever, all the way out. Now all the way back in. OK. And the mixture axis, red lever, all the way out, and all the way back in. Now, they are assigned within the axes. We, are, we have double-check SciTech Pro Flight System, TPM. Let's go over to Buttons and Axes. Again, check Controller Type, TPM System. And let's make sure there are no button assignments. Let me take a moment here to explain why. When you first install FSX from the DVD copy, the old copy, or Steam Edition, and you plug in the TPM, it will randomly assign, and if you do it multiple times, you start to see a pattern, but it'll assign certain buttons to your switches. Make sure you delete all of those under the joystick column here. Once you have those deleted, you can reassign them, or while you're deleting them, you can reassign them, but do be aware, the TPM switches only work as an off-on switch. When you click them down, they are toggling only when you click them down that one time. You have to click it back up and then back down to toggle whatever it was off. So it's only a one-way motion, really, even though the switch goes both ways. So you may want to assign those to certain devices as a fail-safe for an arm and activate and then de-arm, deactivate kind of switch if you like. Feel free to play around with the settings and Come up with your own combinations for the button switches. Uh, one of the reasons why you want to go in and definitely delete the joystick button assignments are the fact that you will end up with a couple that are set to your trim. And if you start switching the switches around, you'll end up getting a nose trim up attitude that will continue to the point of a nose trim stall. So keep that in mind. Make sure you go through Double check the joystick assignments under buttons and keys. If your calibration doesn't seem correct for how fast it moves in and out, play with the sensitivity here. Also null zones if you have a little bit of variance of where it picks up and doesn't pick up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or below in the comment section. And we will have another video showing how to set up the TPM module for the X-Plane flight simulator as well here shortly. Again, Joe Spock from MDB Aviation. Feel free to leave your questions and comments below. Have a good day. Bye-bye.